Hello, library friends. It's Melissa at the Montgomery County Public Library, and I'm here today to give you the instructions for week three's activity for the older readers. Um, if you haven't signed up for summer reading, make sure you do. There's still plenty of time to sign up. We each week have a packet of information. The packet, this week's packet, this week's theme is Prince, Princess, and Palace Week. So we'll be talking about castles and things to do with castles. Each packet contains materials for instructions for a project. And in this case, today we are making a catapult using popsicle sticks and a plastic spoon. So when you pick up your package, you'll also receive a goodie bag with all the materials you need to make your project. So there's a plastic spoon, there's popsicle sticks, there's rubber bands, and we even included some pom-poms for you because they're what you're going to be firing with your catapult in a few minutes. So your packet will have instructions for those, plus your packets have other cool stuff. This week's has information that actual educational information about the different parts of a castle and how they were beneficial in protecting the people inside the castle. Um, there's some information from a real castle in London um, and it there's activity worksheet and things to do with that and then there's just cool fun stuff. Um, Princess and the Pea is a look and find. If you remember the old highlights books that had look and finds, there's a look and find in there. There's coloring pages, all kinds of cool stuff in your packet. So make sure you stop by and get your packet. If you haven't signed up for summer reading, you can still do that. Um, the big thing is everybody has a good time this summer. They read and they learn a little bit while they're doing it. So that's what we're going to try to do. If um, you haven't got week one and week two, week one for the older readers was how to make bread slice clay out of um, white bread. And week two was an origami bookmark. And the instructions for those are in the packet. We still have extra packets. Stop and pick those up. Weeks one and two for the younger readers. Week one was a gnome craft. Week two was a paper bag frog. We still have those materials too. So if you haven't come by the library, you can come through the drive through You can come to the walk-up desk. Camargo's open on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You can pick up there. All those materials are available, and you can still pick up previous weeks if you haven't done that yet. So this week's project, the instructions are in the instruction packet, and you can follow along, but it's a pretty simple project. It's a catapult made out of popsicle sticks and a spoon. So you're gonna start with seven popsicle sticks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Line them all up, stack them up so it's a big tall part. What you're actually learning about are levers and wedges. So it's a simple machine is what a catapult is. So this is gonna end up being our wedge that makes our lever work. So Stack them all up and wrap rubber bands on both ends. So that's one end, rubber bands, two ends. When you pick up your packet, there's a bunch of different size rubber bands. There's all your popsicle sticks. There's extra popsicle sticks in case something happens. There's extra rubber bands in case one of them, you know, rubber bands do what rubber bands do. Sometimes they break. So there's extras. Um, so I have what's going to end up being the wedge for our lever. Seven popsicle sticks. Then you need two popsicle sticks. So a total of nine popsicle sticks is what we're gonna use. And it is just rubber banded together on one end. So I'm gonna get all these rubber bands on. As you can see, they're rubber banded together, two of them this time. And then we're gonna open this up. This becomes our lever. We're going to open it up and slide our wedge into the lever like that. Here's the part where it might take an extra set of hands to hold it together. Um, depends on how well you can do it. Reach for a rubber band here. Now, we are going to, that rubber band broke. That's why I gave you extras in your packet. You're going to actually make an X back and forth across the wedge. So that it holds it down into the lever part. I don't know if I get it for the scooter to look. So you see it's X'd, so that holds it together. So really it makes the springing part is what we've done. And then you're going to attach your spoon, let me get my spoon out of my packet, to the top part of the lever. The instructions in the kit actually tell you to do it in this order, so everything's together, and now we're going to attach the spoon to the lever. However, when I put the first one together, I realized 
it's not really easy to get that rubber band to go around the top of the spoon because it's so big and to get it to stay fastened. So I learned early on, it's sometimes easier to go ahead and put your spoon on the stick before you put them together. But you can try both ways. And the cool thing about it is you've got extra materials in there. So see what happens if your rubber band's loose or tighter. If you add even more than the nine popsicle sticks to your wedge inside, try different things. So there we go. We have it all put together with our rubber bands, our lever and our wedge and our catapult. And now we're going to shoot our catapult. So your kit will include pom-poms of different colors, different sizes. So that way you can see, you know, how different textures, different things work. Pull it back. And it goes. Pretty cool. Let's do a little orange one. It'll show better. Pull it up. See how far you can get them to go. See how far you can get them across the room. Make a competition between you and your kids. Um, it's a pretty quick and easy project. The other thing that I've got back here behind me, this week we are doing a putting together a video of anybody dressed as a prince or princess. If you're having a tea party, make some castles, and we'll talk about this castle behind me. Paint, decorate, decorate your bicycle as a carriage of whatever you want to do. Send us those pictures to our Facebook page, or you can email the library, library at yahoo.com. And we're going to put together a video of the things that you all are doing out in Montgomery County for summer reading. So my castle is a pretty easy project. There's all kinds of, my son put trolls on guarding our draw, the drawbridge. Um, there's all kinds of instructions on the internet for putting together a quick cardboard castle. And this literally is a box that I turned inside out. And use the other parts of the box to make the inside. So you can see the little doors that are inside my drawbridge. And the sides are toilet paper rolls. So all I did when I cut my corners of my box and cut it apart, I actually took out about a half an inch on each side of each edge. So it made a place to stick these in and glued it together. The um, top cones are just circles cut in halfway through and rolled up in to make a cone. So make some castles or some cool things and take pictures for us and send them to us and we get them all by June 24th. We're going to put everything together that we get in a video and you can see what everybody's doing in our castles prince and princess week. If you have a feast fit for a king, send us pictures of that. Anything you do this week that is themed for prince, princess, and castles and goes along with us, let us know what you're doing this summer and you're having good activities and we will put it together in a video. Thanks for joining me today. Don't forget to stop by and get your packets. They're ready right now. You can come pick them up anytime, and we hope to see you at the library. Have a good day.